Hey, welcome back to SOS VHS. Uh, today we have a, a great movie that I saw for the first time yesterday and that everyone else has seen a million times. The Two Towers. That you uh, saw for the first time? Yeah. You too? Yeah, I had to. Yeah, well, I was sensitive about it being called Two Towers when it came out, so I... I was a little nervous to see it. I thought I already knew the ending. It, it came out in 2002. <laughs> exactly. So you want to be sensitive about that, about that, but nothing else in this guy. Dude, I'm telling you, I couldn't watch Two Towers because of 9 11. Oh, oh, shit. The f hell? My Lord. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. What the? Whoa. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, God. oh I saw oh, something. Oh, oh. 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 No, no. Protect the ring. Oh. Get the grass! 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 Get the Okay. Oh, Smeagol I've never seen a hobbit look like this before. <laughs> Much darker than all the other hobbits. Yes, he's darker. <laughs> yeah, very dark. So are you, you're Black Frodo. Yeah, I'm from the what, beach. What's the difference between Hobbit Land. White Frodo and Black Frodo? Well, he just uh, said he's from the beach area. Yeah, I'm from the beach area. So I was a little bit of tan and a little red, <laughs> you know, out there surfing a little bit, got a little tan. So. I, hey, Frodo, be careful with the ring. The, Gollum yeah, is I'm very is, man. attracted to it. Come down. <sighs> Easy. Yeah, be careful with the ring. Uh, so as Black Frodo, uh, is Gollum just a crackhead? Pretty much. Is, is that, is that what he is? He's for this shit. He, I can see it in him. He's fucking like addicted to this shit here and he wants it bad. Look at his teeth. That's, that's, if them ain't cracked teeth right there, that, yeah, that's, that's years of hitting yeah. the pipe right there. That's, he all fucked up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what you do. Stay away from this motherfucker. We gonna keep him. Me wants it. <laughs> you don't, you don't need it. You don't, you don't need this. It must Doc. have the crack. Hey man, easy, Wait, easy. What, what do you do in this situation, Doc? What's the street thing to do? I, yeah. I have no what, idea. <laughs> what, 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 what happens thing. here? Well, normally you give it to him, but in this case, we can't. <laughs> <laughs> you got some money, Playboy? <laughs> you got have fish. You got fish. <laughs> now, nah, how about a little harlot? You got a harlot for me? A harlot? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know pussy for crack. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll suck the dick for the ring. No! Oh, what is this, menace to society with oh, your teeth man. like that? I mean, to... <laughs> Frodo, give me the ring in 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking guy. All right. All right, guys, uh, we're talking about Two Towers, and uh, <laughs> it's going to be a wild one. But I'm going to try to talk about the movie because this is the best trilogy of all time. Don't argue with me. Um, and we leave off with. God. Frodo and Sam on an adventure after they separate from the fellowship. So mm -hmm. the fellowship breaks up. We start the movie, you know, with Gandalf falling. Um, right after the mines of Morla. Correct. Mm -hmm. um, and Frodo wakes from a dream that he was dreaming about Gandalf fa falling. So it's Frodo and Sam by themselves and they encounter Gollum to start off. We haven't yeah. seen Gollum at this point. We saw him a little bit in Fellowship of the Ring. It's like walking in the hood. Like sometimes you'll encounter a golem. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like the time when I was walking in Tijuana. Oh, what happened? I just was scared as fuck. I'm, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, like yeah. you know. Yeah. We, no matter where you're from. What did you think was gonna happen? Someone's gonna put you in a taco? Yeah, uh, well, that could be. Yeah, <laughs> you never know what the fuck going on out there. I yeah. was in that motherfucker, man. It was so goddamn scary. Potholes everywhere, hookers, and I was just like, man, this ain't. I don't belong well, here. So that's the adventure that Frodo go goes. The, that Black Frodo goes on. He goes to Tijuana. He goes to Tijuana. He doesn't yeah. go to Mount Doom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go, yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, yeah. And then he's like, I'm gonna separate from the group. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, if you're in Tijuana and you don't separate from the group, I don't think you're doing it right. You're not yeah. doing it. I'm right. all about separate from the group <laughs> guys i gotta go do something uh -huh. fucking man. you just yeah. solo you just i'll fuck, send you know? pictures do you, do you think frodo was that's pissed? always my move i send pictures do you think frodo was kind of pissed that sam came along he's like come on man i was trying to you know do my th i was actually trying to escape <laughs> no oh that could have got to the ring much easier about the fats as <laughs> wait what's with you okay so i want to i want to ask yeah, you're Gollum so something. concerned with his body type what what's what's with you and sam i so you and frodo are getting along what's with you and sam 
Men mm. not like fats as hobbits. And no like him. Yeah, because he's fat? Yes, and it's <laughs> oh, 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 Zambic. <laughs> <laughs> Olympic? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that'll be in. <laughs> he does. It's not very becoming. He's like uh, uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman in Boogie Nights. He's kind of like chubby and following the cool guy. <laughs> right, right. That's what's I ne- like. never made that, co- that I, connection. Well, I just did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, all right. So they encounter Gollum, and Gollum, you know, says, I'll take you to Mount Doom if you take this elvish rope off of me, right? Right, right. right. So they go along. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Flashbacks? What the, oh, fuck? Oh. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> the rope around the neck. Yeah. Oh, okay. the elvish, so the yeah, elvish rope was burning his neck. Okay. Gosh, you guys are virgin watchers, huh? Yeah, uh, man, I'm over here. Like, was this your first time, on? too? <laughs> yeah. Mine, too. I just was like, okay, let me watch this. And yeah. It was long as fuck. Well, first time watchers, what'd you think about it? It was great. I think it was action packed, uh, just like the first one. But like I say, it was long. But you know, hey, what it is what it is. Did you like one more than the other? <laughs> I actually equate both like equally the same because it's, mm. it leaves you off at the point. Like even when I'm watching it, I was like, I fucking gotta. Now I gotta see part three. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, because yeah. you're like, fuck. But I, you know what? I drew a whole another storyline when I was watching that shit. Wait, it made you think about other stuff. In yeah. Life. What, what were you? Well, you know, like yeah. the part where Argon, is that his name? Aragon. Aragon, Aragon. right? Aragon. And then he's with the king's daughter and he's trying to hook up hey. with the king's daughter. Hey. Yeah. And hey, then what? I'm like, he trying to cheat on an elfin bitch? I'm like, he ain't loyal. Like, that fuck with me. Uh, <laughs> like, I was no, like, so no, now no. I'm like, is he going to fucking fuck? And that, that's what I'm watching. I'm no. like, is he going to cheat oh. on an elfin Hold on. Aowen. Aowen. Let's get like, elfin bitches be crazy. <laughs> 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 I mean, <laughs> real talk, real yeah. talk. But, I'm just, <laughs> but loyalty is loyalty. I said, man, he better stay dedicated, man. Don't do this, dog. Wait, why are you so into loyalty right now? I don't know. I just fucking love the fucking, just the connection of just oneness, right? And then when some other motherfucker just intervene, it's like, oh, I get your goofy ass. Oh, stay, you gotta, doing the struggle, I in know, the hardest times, there was you gotta that, stay tight. But Frodo, there was that time we saw that movie, uh, E.T., and you were excited when the husband left the wife to go cheat with another bitch in Mexico. What? Yeah, you wanted to cut to scenes I just wanted of to, them drinking. And I wasn't excited about them cheating. Uh, I was okay. just excited about That's the idea of bringing in the other side. And I'm like, nah, I you see, gotta, I you see. can't just show one yeah. side and just show her pain. Yeah. And we're, like, hey, well, why did he really leave? Yeah, did he leave because he was like, her shit is dry and yeah. this got nice wet. <laughs> you know, you know, I'm just saying. I'm <laughs> I mean, this is what Black Friday does. We talk yeah. about movies from uh, you know Earth. Yeah, hey, bring, okay. bring it down. A okay, bit. with Aowen. A- Eowyn is uh, um, Theoden's niece in the movie. Um, she pursued Aragorn. I don't think Aragorn ever really... He seemed a little flirty with her. No, no, no. He started that shit from day one. Did he really? Yeah. I don't... This remember is when she remember when she unsheathed her shit and she was practicing by herself? Oh. She was like, oh, I can fight all the men in the world. Ching, 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 ching. And then he, and then he came in, ching. And then he looked at her, he was like... You can fight a little bit. Cold word, I want to fuck a little bit. That's what that was. He was ready to fuck. I said, this dude ready to fuck. Gollum, have you seen this on your journeys? Guys trying to fuck? Yes. (laughs) <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. She on she. Happens. I kept separating Frodo and Sam on the journey. <laughs> oh, for never. That's a dance and that's a dance. No. No, no, no. Not Frodo. <laughs> Frodo don't. Oh, not Black Frodo. <laughs> yeah, bro. Black Frodo don't play that shit. <laughs> Did you ever see stuff at night with Sam? Like him spying oh, wow. on Frodo. Oh, yeah. That's what I thought. Jokes that he did in the silence. So. <laughs> Frodo, Frodo, Frodo. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> you know what? Uh, I, here's here's a thought. I guess I'm, I guess we're gonna go this way. But who do the orcs fuck? Mm. Anything that moves. Probably. <laughs> I think each right? other. They're like Greeks or Romans. Yeah, because. <laughs> Good call. Yeah, Greeks, not, that would be nasty. Yeah. Oh, you know what I bet they do? I think they fuck the trees, and that's why the trees are so mad. <laughs> they put holes in the trees. Oh my God. They put wow. dents in the dents? Wow. Yes. 
That's what were the trees the called? The in the ants. The ants. ants. Oh yeah, you know what I thought the about ants that world. too okay. when I was looking at that shit. I said, wait a minute, hold up, wait a minute. Okay, so. Lord don't the the ant world around Frodo. <laughs> no, yeah, don't do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> see, get, see, that's why he's my friend. Go fucking smeagle. You know? He'll turn on you. Yeah. No, He'll no, fucking no. shank you. I he will live on the master. Yeah. I will oh. No, but turn Frodo, Frodo falls for it. He loves the master. <laughs> All right, turn. <laughs> he hates the master. See, Frodo, you don't hear that part, dude. He uh, loves you. <laughs> don't yeah. you like me calling you master than the other way? Around? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That felt good. I was that's saying, good that felt good. Yeah, say it more often doing the whole goddamn taping. I like to feel <laughs> empowered. You're like, yeah, you goddamn slave. Say it again. You know. Oh my god. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. sorry. That's I lost control. Master Rons. I hate the masters. <laughs> Frodo never makes you do anything weird, right? Because you'll do anything he says. No, it just kills lots of fishes for Frodo's. Okay, just making sure. Yes. <laughs> if anything weird happens, you can tell me though. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember interacting with you in any of the movies, Logalas. I mean, this is us just sitting down. This is like the the after show. It seems like you're another one of those elf bitches he's talking about. <laughs> Hold up, are you Legolas? Yeah. Oh, you know, I'm hoping you get killed in the movie. I haven't seen what, part why, three yet. Why? Why is that? Because he's kind of stupid. What remember, in the, cause in the Legos beginning, is a badass. Are you yeah, kidding me? No, man. He remember in, with the no, no, remember in the fucking beginning. <laughs> He's like a dumb jock or something. No, no, no. In the beginning, he looks up and he sees the sky. And he goes, red sunrise equals blood has been shed. And I'm like, no, red uh, sunrise means it's going to rain later. He don't fucking know weather. Like, I think he's a uh, fucking idiot. Uh, if he don't know fucking medieval weather, yeah. they can't get this guy away from All him. All red sunrise okay. means all runs on her period. Oh, what could mean a lot of different things. <laughs> could mean a lot of different things. But yeah. <laughs> what? But so this, he's like, hey, uh, she's she's Sometimes, no good tonight. Yeah. <laughs> imagine, imagine Lego. Hey, Frodo, would you still fuck on, if the girl was on her period? Nah, I can nah. Really? Yeah, man. You heard, I heard people lay down a towel and, oh, man, I would just be like, go on and wrap it up. You know, we'll go. <laughs> loves it. Me rats it. <laughs> now, here's the thing. Now, I know that women, they are uh, extra horny, supposedly, them. during. I don't think it's crazy. You just put a sheet down. You fucked. From the barn. You fucked. <laughs> I, I, Did you fuck? I fucked a bunch with blood everywhere. I know it. Yeah, I, yeah think that's, I don't I mean, think I'm that's... not surprised by that. Yeah. What about you? <laughs> oh, what do we have here? The I'm, bloody I, bunch? That's what y'all doing up in here? Y'all just like The bloody bunch. The bloody bunch. That's the way we became the bloody bunch. Munch, munch, munch. He said munch, munch, munch. Well, Gollum takes it to the level. He just goes down on someone. I am Aragorn. I don't kiss and tell. I am a proper. Oh yeah, you yeah. I am the I am the king of the true king of Gondor. Okay. Okay. All right. Where am I'm I? From a, I'm from again? the Dunedain. Where am I from? And I'm 87 years old. Which can I can I say real quick? You guys don't didn't watch the extended version. I'm gonna nerd out a little bit. Aragorn is actually 87 years old. In this movie, in the book, he's 87 years oh, old. Wow. So he tells Eowyn, "That's like, oh yeah, I went to war when your dad was like younger than younger than me. Well, I, or I fought with your grandfather. Oh right, because he's an elf, right? Be, no, be, no, he's just he's part of. Okay, so <laughs> Lord of the Rings lore. I'm gonna have to nerd out a little bit. He is part of this Dunedain um, um, people blessed with with uh, long life, and he's 87 years old in the movie. Um, he's from Numenor or Numenor descent, and the true king of Gondor." You guys, you guys, you guys following me on this? God damn it. Oh, yeah. God yeah. damn it, you oh, guys. Shit, this is man. the Lord of the Rings. Okay? Well, okay, this is the Lord of the Rings. It's okay, Where are we Nobody okay. wants to hear from you. <laughs> God damn it, Gollum. <laughs> Fucking. It's me, your so friend. Nobody likes you. I have to be so humble all the time, being the king of Gondor. <laughs> I can't talk about myself for once. <laughs> I mean, You're all the king of Gondor. More like queen of Gondor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's real talk. Queen of Gondor. <laughs> uh, so, oh my God, you guys are fucking throwing me today, man. Oh, please I, continue. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> um, all right. So, listen. 
we we split off. Uh, we got to we got to talk about a little bit about the movie, mm-hmm. a little bit because this is Lord of the Rings and this is absolute. Why well, like the storyline of the two guys, the two hobbits that are also that are like uh, with the ugly people, the orcs. Yeah, I like that. Uh, Marion Pippin, Marion Pippin, yes. the Urukai, yeah. yeah. Urukai that are Saruman's army. It's a okay. cross between yes. orc and goblin, so they're okay. different than the orcs. Oh wow, super breed, yeah. super yeah. breed. Oh, so, so that's what I. That's how what I saw them like coming out of that stuff. Yeah, yeah, they were like Sar- Saruman's like like kind of like a, a Michael Vick, if you will, of, of oh. orcs. He's breeding them. He's you know yeah. creating this stronger you yeah. know to fight Making kind of thing. Fight. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. And that's yeah. who like pit bulls like. But yeah. but instead of pit bulls, he's he's oh. doing it's these are. Mm, orcs, humans. yeah, or these are Urukai humans. orcs mi- mixed with goblins. Yeah, okay. and this is his fighting army. So this is what really what Two Towers is about: is Saruman's army coming to destroy humanity. That's that's basically that's right. what they're trying to defend. They're trying to defend themselves from this huge, huge army. Ten thousand uh, uh, Urukai are trying to destroy humanity. Yeah, um, and a little quick fact because it's fascinating, and I it's that chant when. Saruman brings Wormtongue out to go see, hey, here's my army. It's tens of thousands you'd need to defeat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That chant that you hear is from 25,000 people at a cricket game that Peter Jackson got to chant that line. So it feels like oh, oh, wow. it feels like it's all it's all these voices. He actually went halftime during a cricket game to get that sound oh wow that's cool. so like that new zealand or something and new zealand oh. and because new zealand was all part of this yeah, that, process i, saw, yeah, I, I thought i could hear like indian thing. people in the <laughs> chant that's why so it makes sense now oh i heard that too it's racist, <laughs> racist. <laughs> i heard thank it. you for calling that out <laughs> yeah yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah i just heard some indian um in there. and uh i'm blanking on his name uh uh brad i think it's brad uh um uh, 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 Gen-, uh, Gen Z skeleton, can you help me out on this? Uh, um, right. Plays Worm Tongue. Hit. Um, he, Hit? <laughs> the actor that plays Worm Tongue. Brad oh, Dorif. it's not Brad Pitt. Brad Dorif. Um, that scene where he has a single tear is something he can do on command. Oh, crazy! So he did that. He's like, and they're like, oh, fucking do that for this scene. He's the same actor that's in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Who played Billy? Have anybody seen that that movie? Not old a long school. Time. Old school, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. That's a super long time ago. Yeah, yeah Billy, the guy that at the end sleeps with... Can't, uh, Gollum's got to cover up here. I mean, there's there's yeah. just a lot. Hang- Gollum, no, you just no. let it you just yeah, let it hang yeah, out? Gotta, Gollum, uh, yeah. Cross, cross or something. No. Does it ever get... It's too much? Too, 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 no, yeah. yeah, we don't like the Gollum Jews. Yeah, you haven't that, showered and it's... Does I stink? Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. have a little... A lot of B.O. coming it's, out of them balls like, right It's now. kind of flowing out of you right now. Yeah, yeah it distracted me from what I was trying to... Yeah, thanks. Yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, there that's, you go. that's a lot. Very good. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> but Brad Dorif, he's, uh, he played Billy in um, One Flew of the Cuckoo's Nest. If you remember, he at the end with Nurse Ratchet, she's the one that says, I'm going to threaten to call, I'm going to call your mom because you had sex with this girl. She's trying to shame him. He ends up killing himself. Mick Murphy, mm-hmm. I think is his name is, or Murphy, um, played by Jack Nicholson, strangles uh, Nurse Ratchet. And then he ends up getting a lobotomy at the end. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Great movie. Um, and I just ruined it. But watch it. Um, it's an old-ass movie. It's an old-ass movie. It's but old, that's yeah. the same yeah. actor that was that was um, in uh, that played Worm Tongue. Okay. Great, great role. I know these, I mean, there's a lot of great roles, but man, Worm Tongue, that and guy. And the captain of the Titanic, too, was in this movie. That's was, right. Oh, cool. I remember. Bernard Hill. He just died. He just he just died. Played Theoden, and man, I love Theoden. Do we know how he died? Fentanyl. F- fentanyl. Did, is that true, Gen Z skeleton? No, it's probably not true. <laughs> you know who the guy that played Frodo? Yeah, he, Elijah Wood. Elijah Wood. He looks like uh, Toby McGuire's ancestral cousin. You know what I mean? <laughs> like he. Like a cousin through incest. Yeah, kind of, kind of related. Oh, they, yeah, yeah, it's like, but a little bit off. You know what I mean? A little he does. A little, little bit little. chromosome crossed in there somewhere. Some a little off, but he looks. Yeah. You know I, mean? I said, God damn, that's Toby. He's a little unhealthy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Elijah. Will. Maybe that's why he got rolled. Because he looks a little. 
I just get really when he when Gollum stands, I just think he's going to pounce and and like attack and try to get the ring again. I'm just really I'm really on edge right now. I know. Easy. He's just eyeing it the whole time. Easy. Me would never do that to the master. No. The master, master. Hey, you already tried to do it. As soon as he sleeps, kill him. Kill him. <laughs> See, what? I'm what? right here. You said it fucking right in front of me. Oh, did I? Yeah, you did. Oh, my apologies. Yeah, okay, well, accept it. Stupid, he was. <laughs> Watch this movie. No, I know. And yeah. you know what? How did you get him on? You said, Gollum, will you will you uh, get be on our podcast? And he said, will the ring be there? I had to tell him. And, you know. Yeah. But, and also, I I had some help from Black Frodo because he has to do whatever his master says. Right. So he's like, hey, just come on. Thank you, Black Frodo, for doing that. Do you know my, my favorite my app America. on my cell phone? The Ring app. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. man. Call him just made a bad joke. Oh, <laughs> Throw that into the fire of Mordor, Ooh, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah throw that shit straight in the fire. Yeah, <laughs> man. <laughs> oh, burn. Oh, wow. Burn. So, we'll get back to talking about ratchet things. Then his ears will back up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but hey, man, I want to I want to talk about Bar- Bernard Hill because he recently passed. But phenomenal actor in, in Lord of the Rings, from phenomenal character, uh, Theoden. Um, when we meet Theoden, it's um, right. It's Aragorn, Legolas, uh, Gimli, and Gandalf the White oh, who Gimli comes back as, as Gimli Gandalf the White. Laugh. Gandalf, yeah. And like they Gimli. encounter a decrepit Theoden that's all old and. You're and doing like uh, Trump when he made fun of the mentally handicapped person. I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that looked like. <laughs> I'm not doing. Of, you're doing Trump at one of his rallies. I was going for elderly. Oh, okay, That's elderly. Wow. I don't. I don't really? know. Whoa, easy, don't know. Oh, yeah, easy. I'm trying to. I'm trying to do elderly. That like a spinal issue through inbreeding or something. God damn it. <laughs> so they they meet. Theoden, who's old and decrepit, right? Looks like or a gay Hitler bed. salute. Looks like on his deathbed, exactly. <laughs> and, you know, milky eyes. So, uh, actually, Bernard Hill, fuck, he spent nine hours in the makeup chair to to get that look down. Oh wow! So he Bernard Hill. Oh, I was like, <laughs> they, looks they fine. Were, king, n- the king, yeah. right? the king, right? Oh, yeah. right, right. Uh, possessed by um, Saruman, and yeah. Gandalf has to undo this spell, get Theoden back. He's very yeah. like emo looking. He's very like early two thousands. <laughs> yeah. The guy that's like whispering in his oh, worm tongue. Yeah, yeah, he has. He got the shaved eyebrows. He does look like one of the members of the used. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Very like the cure or something. Yeah, I, I like. I don't know why. I like when he has that dialogue with Eowyn. You know, like a spring rose still clinging to winter's chill. Oh, it's just so weird and creepy. He has a thing for her too because he's very Kevin like, Spacey like. He's very weird. He's like, I think he wants to <laughs> fuck everyone. But you know, yeah, he want to fuck when he grabbed her by the cheek and he yeah, like kind of yeah, rubbed yeah. her like. Yeah. Can you blame her that she was attracted to Aragorn then? That's the only one who's throwing his, you know, his shot. He's, yeah, he's literally throwing his sword out there, going. Yeah, he was trying to unsheath the sword, if you yeah, will. And he did. Yeah, he was ready. He did. Yeah. He threw it out there. You know what, Doc? I didn't realize that, but you're right. He started that. Yeah, he started. Ain't no, ain't no doubt about that, because she was minding her goddamn business. She was, like, doing her little thing with the sword. Ting, ting, ting. And he came over there like, ha-ha! Yeah. And yeah. I think I seen a little pelvis thrust when he fucked. Oh, my God. <laughs> but I, I don't know. Oh, he yeah. might have, but maybe he didn't. I think I saw something. It's I the did. game respect. Yeah, game. I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I he did was trying it. to woo her. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, because, you, know, you know, I hadn't seen uh, Arwen in a long time. I don't know. She's going to fade out with the world, right? Yeah. It, it, it could be the end of the world. Man, you got to stay locked in. Oh, but there's the end of the world. Until you know that she's gone, bro. You got to know when she's gone, then that's when you pounce it. You know what I'm saying? That's when you go to pound town. <laughs> what? You heard it here live. That's that's Black Frodo, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> oh, man. Um, So, you know, they uh, Gandalf basically undoes... Un- I love the, uh, that part when Gandalf shows up. What does yeah. he say to him? He like, calls him like a fool or something in some sort of way. Who, uh, Theoden? No, uh, Gandalf. When he shows up, uh, when? Doing a battle? or yeah, doing No, a... no, no. At the, at the... Oh, at the castle. At the castle. Okay. What, what does he say, Gollum? One of my favorite things is right before he walks in is they try to disarm every weapon out of the people. And he says, you wouldn't, you wouldn't deny an old man of his walking stick, mm-hmm. would you? 
I like that part because it was devious. <laughs> oh, of yeah, course. Then he rocks like in. You would like it because yeah. it's devious. Yeah, and then he rocks in, and then he takes the robe off, and then... <sighs> and there's a bright light. He also does that little wink to Aragorn where he just he just goes... Oh, so gay. <laughs> yeah. God. <laughs> it doesn't have to be. It's like, I, I got away with it. There were some gay moments with him during that scene. Anything is gay if you look for it. Yeah, yeah. That's what <laughs> what are you wanting out of the situation? Well, he's gay, so everything he does is going to be... The actor is gay, but Gandalf may not be gay. No, it, it transforms. It goes, Hold up, I'm Gandalf, sorry. the actor, is really gay in real life? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, okay. So, uh, I didn't know that. I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, well, does that change things for you? No, I don't change shit, but that just made me He's understand the awkwardness that's going on with these two. I'm just over here like, what the fuck is going on? Oh, I see. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you y'all knew he was gay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Did as you know? Actor. As an actor. Yeah. As an actor. Oh, I didn't know that. Huh. Okay, I'm just watching it for the, just the pure joy. He's getting off the road, not getting off the rainbow or something. <laughs> <laughs> that was oh, one man. of my favorite parts, though, and Gandalf came in and like undoes the spell. I was like, oh, he and the, strikes again. He's the, so wise and strong. But also the CGI is really good where he transitions from oh, the totally. old to to Theoden, um, it's it it holds up. And you're like, well, that's that's really impressive. Yeah, um, none of it seems like. I mean, it looks outdated in some parts, but not like in a distracting bad way at all. No, and they use so use a mix of you know um, uh, visual effects mm -hmm. and practical effects. Um, uh, Helm's Deep is a miniature that they that that um, that they that they built a lot of miniatures. Um, that scene where the wall explodes with the bomb. Okay. On the on the uh, the deeping wall, it's called, um, is them actually destroying a miniature? Oh, interesting. Of the, of the rocks and everything, like that's them destroying a miniature. So it's a practical effect. Ooh. That's really that's really cool. The all the miniature photography. Get off or uh, call him like that a lot. <laughs> he made a noise. <laughs> yeah, he. Uh, I don't. Yeah, was it Oregon? Oh, because something exploded or something. <laughs> uh, yeah, it sounded like something exploded. With there Colin. we go. I'm making it go again. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. This Every guy. time. You gotta watch yeah, out for this. It's in his heart. It's in his fucking heart. But Legolas oh. is a little. Zesty. Yeah, well, I was saying zesty. exploded because it's violence and Gollum likes like mischief and criminal activity, probably. So I thought. What you meant was it's exploding. Yeah, all. yeah. You thought it was like coming, like ejaculating everywhere. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh man! So everybody, everybody, eventually. Have it in your hair. My <laughs> my cum. It looks like it looks. It looks what? like your hair is plastered down, it has like come all over it's it. It's plastered down with elf blood. Okay, okay, I just wanted to know. <laughs> what is going? Hey, man, it I looks don't... like you were like in a bukkake, but no, <laughs> but like a elf in bukkake, <laughs> and never showered after. I've lived in a cave for what? hundreds of years. <laughs> I haven't saw it. I love a fish. That's just a I weird the visual creatures. you just gave I me all the like Different goblins. So no, nobody came in my house. <laughs> and I found that offensive. <laughs> Nobody's even come to visit me. Yes. I'm sorry. You're right. Bringing that up really just brings up the point that no one's visited you. That's that like a bukkake me. would just be like five guys hanging out. But that's just a funny visual. Just like elf and surrounding them. He's in the middle and they yak it all over your phone. Fucking Smeagol forehead. That's weird, but funny. This <laughs> fuck nothing. Okay. It's Smeagol. I guess I'm by myself on that one. I hey, love fire. being friends with all of you. <laughs> Kill them all. Kill them all. And then and then he has the ring on, so they have to yeah, guess yeah. where he is. They're like, ah, where I go? Yo, you so bitch. You so bitch. Escape. <laughs> well, I laugh along with him now. Captain Pluto. Look at guy. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> oh my god. I can't. Oh. All right. So, and then the battle's like a whole hour the, at the end. So, here's the thing. So basically, okay. look. Theoden has to take his people to Helm's Deep. It's a kind of a, a safety kind of place to go because there's a fort his fortress in Helm's mm -hmm. Deep because hey, these Orakai are coming. We got to get out of here. They're going to slaughter us all. And I want to talk about the battle of Helm's Deep. Because that that last battle at night, because mm -hmm. whoa, it reminded me of like Game of Thrones. Oh my god! I mean, that's before Game of Thrones. Oh, I know. That's it. Just reminded it me. It took of that. four months to shoot. News flash. Well, what, what's the news? From Never him? seen Game of Thrones. <gasps> I just saw it for the first time a couple of wow, years ago. I man. loved it. The whole fucking thing. Yeah, I, I loved, in a couple I, of weeks. 
I mean, it took me like a month or two. Oh, I watched. I watched it again as well. I all it seven. That much. What is it? Seven eight? Well, how many seasons? Eight seasons. Eight seasons. It's amazing. Thank you, Gen Z Skeleton. Good dude. Good dude. You'd love it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. I watched the. I the one. I, I watched it with this chick. But there's no black people. That's cool. But you know what I liked? I liked the. Uh, the. Uh, we said it. A, why? <laughs> there should be a warning. It's up north where it's a bunch of like Vikings and shit like Anyway, uh, yeah. not Vikings. But anyway, I was going to say <laughs> that uh, I saw the Red Wedding or the Red. Oh, yeah. yeah I, saw that. I saw that episode. That right there made me go. Nah. You know what's funny? So is I, I saw that before I saw Game of Thrones, too. I was at my friend Stephanie's place. Right. Simbari, what? who you know, Gollum. And uh, yeah. I don't know, Stephanie, too. Cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the fuck? So sorry. No, yeah, well, I was at Simbari's. And she yeah, was like, I love Stefan and Simbari. Yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm creepy, man. Yeah, I thought, <laughs> well, I, that's be weird. Congratulations about. on the new baby. Oh, she had a baby too? Yeah. yeah. Okay, her and Esther and all of them, like, yeah. baby, baby, baby. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't need babies. No, Russia can run. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Congratulations, Esther and Steph. A lot of people are having babies. Yeah, they are. When are you going to have a kid, Frodo? I don't know. Probably in another year or so. I'm just throwing it out there. Yeah. Yeah, man. As soon as he has a kid, he mysterious goes on another journey. <laughs> <laughs> what does that even yeah. mean? What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> the baby. Oh, another room. Let's go to a volcano. That's how we roll. <laughs> we. <laughs> or yeah, or, me or he puts on the ring and disappears. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ghost. Boom. <laughs> oh, Abracadabra, oh, bitch. Go. Looks like that child support is gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god uh, I, look you guys i'm gonna talk about lord of the rings and you're gonna listen to me oh the last okay. the battle the we battle. talk about the battle of helms deep because it's important why is it called helms deep Helm, it's just that's the fortress name okay. don't worry about it okay. ask J.R.R. tolkien you can't he's dead now listen oh he is oh he's long gone he's long gone but he left this beautiful masterpiece for us to consume did he ever watch lord of the rings no. Oh, he died, he died a long time ago. Oh, okay. Wait, 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 what are we talking about here? Long time ago. Well, then he has nothing to do with this. This is all showbiz, baby. Yeah, he didn't He didn't see the movies. This was He was born in, like, I don't know, uh, late 1800s. He died in 1973. Oh, gosh. Uh, 1933, uh, Gen Z Skeleton? He died in 73. Oh, it's 73. 73. Um, yeah, thirty three, a little suspicious, maybe. So, like, oh, also, you know, you know, Christopher Lee was the only person who played uh, Saruman. Um, is the only person to have met J.R.R. Tolkien, and he actually read The Lord of the Rings once a year until he died in 2015. So Christopher Lee was obsessed with he Lord of the met, Rings. He met J.R.R. Tolkien. He met, he was the only one. That, Do you that think met it's him. like a lie, and he's just telling everyone that? Yeah, because he's a fanboy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, like, I met oh. J.R.R. Tolkien. Oh, sure, Christopher, yeah. go read Lord of the Rings again. It's like, yeah, I met John Lennon too. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. He's yeah. Um, so yeah, Helms, the Battle of Helm's Deep, it's uh, 10,000 Orakai against 300 men. Um, some of them old, some of them young, right? We have that moment where um, Legolas, you are like, oh, hey, no. look it, they're scared. You could see it in their eyes, mm -hmm. right? And yeah. there's this, we have this this thing between you and I, I and know. I'm like, well then, you know, it's like they're going to die. You say it in Elvish. And then I go, well, I'll die as one of them. Mm-hmm. And then Gimli has to go, let him go. He's, yeah. you know, he's getting upset. Gimli always helps us. Yeah. So we had a little, we had a little thing before the battle. Yeah. I was just stressed out. I was on the, the side that Vegas was making to lose big time. You were, yeah. you had money on it. I mean, I, I was, I was betting on the other <laughs> side. So you're going to escape as everyone's getting I was, slaughtered. I was going to play dead and then go, go, go uh, cash in my ticket in Vegas. But then the elves arrived and you're like, wait a second. Is the back door in the two towers that ba little back door or is that in the third one? It's the one that's the, shaped like a plane. The back the uh, little tiny door that Aragorn walks out And of. Gimli, where they where they go, they're like, hey, it, tosses Gimli. By the beard. By the beard. And he says, don't tell the elf. Don't tell the elf. Yeah. Oh, I do remember that. But that then, you want to talk about gay. <laughs> <laughs> Gimli and Legolas. I killed more than you. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, you guys, what's what? So what's that about? It's just a Gimli, uh, you know, in a hard world where you know 
you got to hunt for your food. There's no McDonald's. It's just a tough land. Gimli provides me with some laughs and smiles. Yeah, but you're, you're doing this for sport. Meanwhile, I'm trying to uh, manage the entire army mm -hmm. and you're going, oh, I got I got 50 kills. Yeah. I need you, I needed you guys to focus. Focus, man. Well, as you know, me and Gimli every night we get really high and we didn't want to break our streak. We were on a good streak and we couldn't not get high just because it was battle night. So we smoked right before. The long bottom leaf? You fucking son of a no, bitch. This new shit from New shit? Yeah. <laughs> not from the Shire? No. Me Better than the Shire shit? From Mexico. Whoa. Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Middle Earth Mexico? Yeah. Middle Earth Mexico. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. You just share some with me? Uh uh, if I mean, it, it, like people do die all the time from this. Oh, this is like it's fentanyl. fentanyl shit. Yeah, basically. Like, you gotta be kidding. See, this is what I'm talking about. I was it, hoping I would die from the fentanyl, and if not, I could go to Vegas and cash out. Frodo and I are confused as hell right now. <laughs> I don't know what we're talking about. Anyways, so hey, so we're here at the Battle um, of Helm's Deep. This took four months to shoot oh that's so annoying four months three months at night one month during the day they had 20 hours of footage they have rain machines right it's like the amount of oh, like effort Dubai. yeah is unbelievable for this is it peter jackson actually made shirts to give to people that said i surveilled helms deep with the m scratched out so it's like hell yeah you know what i mean um because it was hell yeah. And everyone was like, shit, this was like insane. insane to do. Um, but he did it and it paid off because that battle, I think, personally, is the best in Lord of the Rings. Uh -oh. That battle is the best battle. Do a lot of people, like fans, like believe it's like, what What do people say about this? I, I mean, it's subjective. Um, okay. But, you know, because then there's a battle in, in Return of the King that's that's epic as well. But man, I just, just all the elements involved in it are insane. Um, and the amount of effort that Peter Jackson had to take to do that is it's like you just that's the studio no studio yeah. is going to go oh yeah you need four months yeah to do this one scene that's wild or I had no go. idea that's why it's such a long part of the movie I had no idea in the books I don't know if any of y'all know is it like <laughs> what the fuck is that did, <laughs> did Gollum <laughs> Gollum I didn't fart you farted right in the fucking faces didn't you Gollum no it definitely wasn't me Fartis oh my god Gollum Gollum what it's that fish it's that fish fart too the fish yeah. moves right oh, through me I'm sorry god yeah you need it fuck oh. my boy yeah fuck. fucking Gollum dude oh god fuck that fish I got a headache it, boy boy <laughs> <laughs> little dizzy Frodo Sorry. as his master. Sorry, master. Uh, that shit out, yeah, right? man. Yeah. Maybe if the fastest hoppers wouldn't eat all the food, then maybe I would eat something better. I don't give a fuck. You, you excuse your goddamn self. That, that, that shit almost had us dizzy up in this bitch. Excuse me. Now you say excuse me? That's fucking. This guy is rude as fuck. Yeah, he's he's, but he's not just being evil. He's being like. So he he's just straight up being sarcastic now. Everything. He's it's a fucking of Sam. Asshole. He's misbehaving because of Sam. Now let me ask you something. So is Gollum schizophrenic in this movie? Oh yeah, yeah. And there's yeah. two different. So Smeagol is one side of his brain, and then Gollum is the other side. So he's schizophrenic. Yeah, you could call it that. <laughs> okay, all right. That's what we're gonna do. Multiple yeah. personality disorders is what I was diagnosed okay, with well, technically. Yeah. Okay, okay. So since so this this is a movie of of a lot of different subtleties and and little uh, um tricks to to evoke emotion and evoke a different feeling Gollum, when he's being friendly his eyes are a little bit more dilated and he's um a little bit more childlike when he's evil he's more hunched up like a cat mm -hmm. and it, and his eyes are a little like 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 pinholes you know what I mean? yeah. there's a little more threatening behind it so it's very subtle you can see it in the scene where he's talking to himself mm -hmm. you can see the different versions of yeah, Gollum. i love that and that <laughs> <laughs> See that? Yeah, it, just two. He needs Lexapro. He, needs he, he does, but there's no, there's no therapist. Who's who? Who, no. who does therapy in Middle Earth? I don't. I don't think I'm doing okay. I don't need therapy. Well, it's fine. Oh, he seems okay. You need all the therapy, Because nobody likes you. 
<laughs> Truce of thoughts. Intrusive people, thoughts. People like me. I'm a likable person. Name five friends in your in the, your fan book that would call <laughs> and take you to the airport at exactly. moment's notice. Exactly. Um, um, um. That's what we thought. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's one of the thoughts. <laughs> you know uh, my favorite war scene? <laughs> tell Can me. I say that? Tell me. I like when uh, Groot's cousins is fighting with Groot? the human. Groot? <laughs> <laughs> Groot? What is it? What's the name of them again? Oh, the trees. Uh, the ants. The ants. The the yeah, the fucking, yeah, oh, man. Groot. I was like, yeah, they was, uh, man. Because, you know, you think about photosynthesis and oxygen and humans. That shit was a beautiful scene to me that they was uh, fighting uh, together. Yeah. You know, that was like. It they was. took so long to, like, realize that the two hobbits weren't orcs, though. So. So that's okay. I was like annoying. I was like, would y'all take a year to figure that out? It's a, it's a big part of the book that ends that process of them, you know, because they're trees, they take a long, you know, they take a long time to grow. They take a long time to do anything. Oh, that's a long time. Long time to pay you back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. (laughs) Yeah. Um, To arrive at the decision. Oh, we decided you're not orcs. It's like, well, what about Isengard? What about this whole thing? So they're, they are just taking a long, long time it because of trees. Yeah, they're trees. They take a long time to grow. So they, it's also part of the books too. At these, you know, ants. I love them. Slow. Yeah. And did you know that Treebeard took one frame of Treebeard took forty up to sometimes forty eight hours to render. I mean, the painstaking process of doing I gotta say, that not worth it. Not worth the work to make the movie. I'd be like, you know what? Two Towers doesn't need to exist. This is too hard. But we're talking about the best trilogy of all time. That's just, that's too much. Have there been, how many one frame, have? 48 hours? I'd be like, guys, we have to like, I have, there's like- back Up to, maybe, maybe it took like only 20 I hours. I think you might have a point. He has lazy and gay thoughts. That's the only thing <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You say a trilogy of all time. What other trilogy is that? I mean, there's Star Wars. But there's more than one Star Wars. No, no. Oh, you're talking about oh, well, the first three. Just trilogy, yeah, yeah. first three. Oh, okay. Uh, there's yeah. there's Indiana Jones. So I mean, but there's think... more more Indiana Jones. Damn, but... he comparing that just oh man, Mighty Ducks. Yeah, Mighty Ducks. That's Mighty not even Ducks, the conversation. What the or, fuck? I, uh, That's a trilogy. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, but why is that in the discussion? This is Lord of the Rings. So. Might as well talk about we're talking kind of trilogies. Yeah, right, just you know, trilogy talk. That's all. But, but that's not even the same. Back league. to the Future. That's like talk. That's like talking uh, about the Yankees, and then like, what about this little league team? No way. But you think Lord of the Rings is you comparable to Star a sports Wars? analogy when comparing Mighty Ducks and Lord of the Rings. That's yeah. <laughs> okay. That's fair enough. Because if we're talking about Team USA and Team Iceland, then that's something I can jump behind. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. What the fuck? <laughs> Good scene. I don't like how you. I don't, look at they're they're getting yeah, along yeah, over here. I don't know if it. I like them. Uh, we like Mighty Ducks too. You turn the nigga. Mark Maron was the mean guy on the in Ro- on Rodeo Drive. What do y'all want? Wait, who's, who on Mighty Ducks? Mar- Mark Maron played a voice in the movie. Oh, he did? I didn't yeah, know. he was like the guy on Rodeo Drive who was like telling them to get away on the intercom. Uh, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Have you heard him tell Got that story? Got Mark Maron, Playboy. On his podcast a million times. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. He got cut out of it because the kids didn't like him. That's right. <laughs> Whoa, okay. So they just use his voice off screen. Oh, oh wow. All right, all right. Wait, call him. Do you listen to WTF in the cave? A uh, Smeagol doesn't. Call him this. <laughs> That's what I thought. What do? You, yeah. What other podcasts do you like? Um. Hmm. Let's see here. Um. Uh. I think I like um. Girls gotta eat podcast. Oh yeah. That's a good one. Because it's girls and eating. Yes. <laughs> Not sure where you want me to go with this one, Carlos. I feel like whatever I answer is not going to be a good answer. Are you trying to set me up? Dude, that's okay, right. this, uh, you know what? I'm the king. That's right. All right, so listen to the king. We're talking about Lord of the Rings. We're talking We're about going the back to Helm. We're going back to Helm's Deep because I'm fascinated with, with, uh, with all the elements. My favorite part, my favorite scene is... Theoden, right, where he's just looking at the the Orakai coming up. You see all the lights, right? And you in mm. Game of Thrones, there is that scene. I think it's the the bat the Battle of the, the Bastards. Not Battle of the Bastards. It's the um, the night scene uh, against the Night Walkers, right? Where you just see lights coming. Okay, which is like, oh, hey, Helm's Deep. 
right? Uh, um, Two Towers is 2002, and that that uh, with with the Night King um, battle is 2000. I don't know, 10. Oh no, 2010, 2018, 2019. Sorry, 2010. Um, so a lot of is borrowed from Lord of the Rings. Like okay. this is a this is this battle is absolutely incredible. And of course, I, I mean, I don't know for certain, but the writers, the the directors had to have seen Lord of the Rings and gone, oh, that looks pretty dope. Let's do some elements of that, right? Mm -hmm. um, but I like when Theoden's there, and uh, he's just watching it happen, and then the rain. Starts, starts oh, yeah. coming down the storm, right? Like, and then raindrops, and you hear it. Here, you hear the sound design of it hitting. You know their their metal armor. There's something about like all these people are coming to destroy us, and then on top of that, downpour rain. So annoying. Uh, and yeah. like imagine that where it's like, hey, yeah, we're gonna do this battle for four months. Also, you're gonna get rained on. Insane. Is is a yes. uh, Peter Jackson's an absolute madman. Yeah, you know, um, and I just love that element. And then they would go, and, and so it begins. Frodo, were you? Oh, and we're off. I wasn't even paying attention. I ain't. <laughs> <laughs> no, you fuck with you, son <laughs> of a bitch. Wait, Frodo. You... Wait, <clears throat> I, I I forgot if Frodo was at that battle or not. Frodo's not at the battle. Oh, no. he's, not there, he's not at the Look battle. It's for Smeagol. Smeagol's taking the two. You don't even know. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Okay, I just couldn't remember. Uh, you couldn't remember. Yeah, I, I was in the battle. It's like, you know, when you're in the mix, sometimes you forget who your fellow players are. You, what are you talking? What the I fuck are you talking idea. about? I was in the mix and I, I thought, oh, I thought I saw Frodo when I was, you know, capping people. That's what I thought. Yeah, you're not. You're, you're not. You're not in it. <laughs> you're not in it. That's why Legolas, thought. I don't know what elvish shit you're on right now. But, no, I literally, I just couldn't remember if Frodo was with me during that battle or not. You, you know what? Too much of the long bottom leaf. Maybe you're eating too much uh, edible uh, lem lembus bread. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you're doing. I, but cut it out. Okay, I'm sorry. I just... For <laughs> I Did you just... I'm trying to tuck my ear, <laughs> hair behind my ears. And <laughs> fucking, you know what I mean? Like how y'all... <laughs> Fucking. I don't know <laughs> what <laughs> trying to do to you know the, the white fucking, thing. Yeah, I, I was I, trying to get fucking. Yeah. You know, I want to ask you guys, what character do you resonate with the most um, in this in this movie? What is something that you relate to, or something that you, what struggle that you understand? Smeagol. Really? Yeah, just the struggle of staying on the good and the bad side. You know what I mean? Hmm. It's like. Do I want to buy this hooker or do I just want to go straight to church? You know, it's weird. It's like that whole. That's a real extreme. You know what I mean? Wait, it's kind of. That's oh, a no. real extreme. On Sundays, yeah. are those really your decisions? No. Buy a hooker? No, I'm just oh, saying. This just was dumb what I said. But you, I you didn't understand. know you could buy one like, for a whole. Buy a hooker? Well, I know about like getting a hooker. I, I thought you meant like buy a girl. <laughs> like purchasing a human. I said hooker. Oh, you don't even register them as humans? This is uncomfortable. You, you, I don't, okay. Like, I don't know. Should we? <laughs> what, what do you mean I don't register him? Hey, hey Frodo, what's your favorite podcast? <laughs> <laughs> I will thank you, Steve, for saving it. <laughs> we'll move on. We'll move on. How are you going to set my man up like that? <laughs> what? <laughs> Everyone's mad that I, I didn't know Frodo wasn't at the battle. He wasn't at the battle. He's not even close to the battle. I, I just watched the movie. I was, I was at the battle. There's a lot of shit going down. So, like, if just I, smarter than this, <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Hey. No, but one moment is when this good miss when Master said it was okay, and then they put the ropes around me and they captured me. That's when I stopped trusting Masters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you and you hate that moment because it's like you have Frodo and Gollum have developed this kind of bond. You're like, well, I hope they're friends because they need Gollum mm -hmm. to go to Mordor. It's like he's the guide. He's the only one that can really bring him there because remember they were going to go to the Black Gate with all those armies marching and they're like, I guess we'll just go. And it's like and Gollum's like, no, no, no. They're going to fucking catch you. What are you doing? Yeah, right. Yeah, so yeah. they know, OK, Gollum. Gollum's it's hard to look out for them. Exactly. So so that moment you're like, Gollum, please no. Please trust them still. It, it, it's not their fault, but mm -hmm. Gollum's like, oh, no, fuck no. no he lied to us. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, these bitches, I'm fucking going to kill them all. He was fucking vengeful. I said, God damn, Gollum, calm the fuck down. Oh, and Your I boy, I'm still your boy. Yep. 
I'm still your goddamn boy. Okay, you're my boy. Yeah. Let's take them to her. <laughs> <laughs> that that moment when they're in the cave, right, with uh, Faramir and Gollum's all cuddled up and you hear that Smeagol. Mm -hmm. It's Gollum coming. I love that Calling moment. Gollum back to Smeagol to come back into his brain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love that because you're like, oh, he, he's back. He's, hees back. It triggered it. Yeah. Uh, and you're like, oh, shit. Yeah, so so Why yeah. does it cry? Why does it cry? Oh, <laughs> that's when you're like, oh, shit. Uh, und undid everything. Yeah. And there's the crying. You're like, fuck. Like, they, if, if they just all all this is undone mm -hmm. it's all undone and do we trust Gollum? so it it's we're no, constantly you know. but at some point you do trust Gollum. yeah is sam being a dick like a self-fulfilling prophecy though for like any shit he gets from Gollum? it's like sam needs to be nicer <laughs> he but sam's there to protect frodo in sam's defense he sensed the bad and the trickery of Smeagol and Gollum, and Frodo is blinded by the ring, so he, oh. he thinks that Smeagol and slash Gollum is carrying the burden of the ring, and that Sam will never understand exactly. the plight of the ring. Yeah. So that's why he is so defensive over Gollum, and why Sam does not trust him. I see. Because he sees on the outside party what he's doing, and what the ring is doing to Frodo, his friend. Mm. Mm. Yeah, because there is that moment, right, where Frodo says to Sam, like, what do you know of it? Nothing. Yeah, it's like kind of like a big shot thing. Like when someone gets famous, they're like, what do you fucking know? <laughs> it's like, that's like what- You weren't chosen for this. Exactly. Yeah. He's like, yeah. you're, you don't know anything about the ring, Sam. You're a little bitch. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah, you're yeah. not ring level. Yeah, yeah. I, I love that face that, that Frodo makes when Gollum pulls him from the dead marshes, from, from the water. Yeah. And he's like- Gollum saved me? Mm -hmm. Like, what the hell? It's like that that moment, you're like, okay, is Gollum good? You know, you're starting, it It, it does such a great job. job. But, it, but it does a good job of just going back and forth, yeah. back and forth. Like, he's good. All of a sudden, he's, you know, um, uh, calling calling out uh, uh, just... He's a conniving, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's having these nighttime talks with himself. Yeah. And you're like, whoa okay well he's not stable right yeah. he has so, no loyalty he's like back and forth it's ping ponging yeah uh, he's, he's like with the evil then he's with frodo then he's back with the evil jackass it's just like man back and forth and andy circus what a performance he should have been fucking nominated but he's doing a physical performance they got mm -hmm. sensors all over his body he's doing the vocal performances he would drink something called uh gollum juice which is uh <laughs> honey lemon and ginger to lub literally lubricate his throat so he could do the intense scene peter jackson do not <laughs> I, almost, I was just going to say, do not do Peter Jackson, Jackson definitely like would come in it and just watch him drink. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I knew this was, I knew this he was going to happen. He would so do that. That's what I would do. I would come in it and then I would, I would go, oh, Andy. And I would watch him drink my cup. <laughs> the performance would probably be better if I had like human elements. <laughs> What can I say? I don't know. If, I don't know. Because then, when that. you watch the movie, you're like, "Oh, that's my cum in his mouth." <laughs> <laughs> How are you the most dysfunctional person? <laughs> <laughs> always, always. Like, what I say? You know, that's the Gollum juice. I have split personalities, and I'm doing better in my therapy than you. Yeah, I just. It'd be funny if you're watching. And you're like, oh, during this part, there's cum. It you know what might come in his throat this is what happens when you're immortal like you get bored yeah legolas is immortal so you just, you're just bored yeah at this point. just living forever and just like fuck it i spent 500 years just coming on things <laughs> 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 wait a minute so I thought Frodo was an elf in too. I just fought it on him. No, the fish <laughs> fart. <laughs> no, the fish farts full of the lot. Ah, don't go. Oh, don't oh, fail no. around. Oh, Wait, it's, boy, oh, don't man. Don't do oh, that. I, did you just see yeah, some golem cheeks? I, I saw did. golem cheeks just now. Oh, my God. Oh, Playboy. Love action golem has ass. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't get fucking guy. You thought Frodo was an elf? Yeah, what is Frodo? Frodo's a hobbit. The oh, he did. That's right. That's right. My bad. 
Hey, don't 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 fucking come on my goddamn Instagram cussing me out, you goddamn hobby fans. Hey, you <laughs> fuck you know. Sorry, my bad. And I normally really I openly try to fart on somebody, especially when I'm going on their podcast. <laughs> but when they just talk about coming in my throat over and over, I feel like it was kind of even playing field. He got you back. <laughs> it wasn't a like a negative thing at all. Like people with cum in their throats like it. <laughs> Like, usually it's like a fun thing. Like, they want it. They request it. So, why would talking about that be negative? There's there's nothing here for you. Okay. You're yeah. not, there's no there's nowhere to go. Yeah. I, Andy Circus does not want Peter Jackson's coming his throat. Let's just let it, let's let it be there. Okay. He's got to act. He's got to bounce around and, and, you know, do a lot of hard vocal acting. Well, I'm just saying imagine, to my friend Gollum here that if he had come in his mouth that I don't think it would be like a bad thing. Plus, I intended to be negative. Come I thought it was drives positive. up faster than honey, right? What do we, what? Not if it's mixed. <laughs> right, but, uh, no, we, oh, I guess so. Yeah. Water base a little bit. Okay. Back on oh, back to black silence with the hot. <laughs> <laughs> I really wish I didn't. I didn't give that that golem juice fact. I really, really wish. Oh my god! You, but did you know that Gollum, that Andy Circus wasn't originally going to do the physical acting for Gollum. So you notice in Fellowship of the Ring, I don't know if you guys remember, mm -hmm. but Gollum looks different, right? He does. He, he looks different. When uh, uh, Peter Jackson had Andy Serkis do the audition for Gollum's voice, he was so blown away by his physical acting mm -hmm. that there, he's like, oh, the, we got to do it. We got to do it like this. So they, the, the team, it's called um, uh, Wingnut Entertainment Tech. It's, it's their, their tech kind of production company okay. had to redo all of it. Two years worth of work. They had to redo it in two and a half months to make it make oh, Andy wow. Serkis's facial features, all of that. With the to, motion capture. Exactly. Everything. So they, yes. they redid it because Andy Serkis was so good. And you can you can go on YouTube and see Gollum and then Andy Serkis's face and the mm -hmm. match of of those of, of his expressions and Gollum. He's Caesar, right? He's Caesar. In yeah, Planet of the Apes. Exactly. Yeah. Is um, Caesar still alive in the new one? Not in the new one. No. Okay. Is this Caesar like... died and and the one before that the one that came out. So is this one after all those events? That just came out? Yeah, it's like thousands of years later. Thousands of years? So human... Oh, God. Thank you. It's going to be like dust on something that says Apple or something. But then this ties into the old Planet of the Apes. Remember when it's the Charleston Heston one? Yeah. Right? Where he's like, he thinks he's in outer space on a planet, but really he's oh. on Earth. Right? He sees the Statue of Liberty. You blow it up. Yeah. Okay. Right? Is it? That's... Yeah. That's, I think, what is progressing here is like all this time has passed to the point where well, when it comes out in middle earth we, we should go what it, uh, yeah 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 we will well uh but I, I don't know if we could i think that's kind of a no shoes no shirt kind of situation he no sneaks service. in everywhere he's fine he yeah. can fit in my purse give him the ring and he can just no oh, no no we know we're no, not gonna give him the frodo that's what he wants give him the <laughs> ring frodo you can try to get him in <laughs> Just to get into the movies, he's asking. I'm just saying. We can <laughs> give him sneak the him in if we just, you know what I mean? Okay, so to get into the new Planet of the Apes, we'll all go, bring the ring, we'll give it to Gollum just for about five minutes. You promise, Gollum, five minutes? Me promises. <laughs> okay. Every time. See, every time. <laughs> can you do that? Can you just promise without doing that other thing? Of course. Okay. I promise. All right, yeah. See? There on that one now. <laughs> <laughs> Can I cut a side deal with Gollum? What side deal? What do you want Like to do? if you take the ring, maybe we share it? Sure. You promise? I promise. <laughs> Stupid guy, <dead> elf. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you might be right about that, Gollum. He might be. <laughs> Y'all agree he that I'm stupid be. and gay? <laughs> hey, man, you know, and hey, I wouldn't say, you know, stupid, but definitely a little bit. You like a little elf booty. You like a little <laughs> bit of male elf booty. Male elf, elf booty. That's okay. You know what that's Black okay. Frodo calls sus? 
<laughs> yeah, a little something. Yeah. Okay. That's, hey, that's really, fair. That's fair. Me and Gollum on the real tip over here. <laughs> I'm the real real. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. I, this bond again, man. Everybody's everybody's teaming up with Gollum. No. <sighs> oh. You know you he's can't. manipulating everyone, he, he, and he's really good at it. Mm -hmm. He's really, he's really, really good. good at it. See, if you look at him, it's like I would never hang out with him. And then, like, you want to like share rings with him and stuff. Yeah, I want to share bling with him. Well, you when we get to the return of the king, you'll see what he really manipulates. Sam, Frodo against Sam. Pitting Sam against. Frodo. Oh yeah, you know, oh, I, I like can't wait for that. Oh yeah, you'll get to you'll get to see how how Gollum manipulates a situation and just kind of feeds into Frodo's mind like, hey, Sam is uh, up, up to some shit. One of my favorite scenes in The Two Towers is when Sam warns Faramir. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? Was that your masters? That was, that was me. <laughs> I just oh uh, dude yeah, that's worse than golems dude. yeah I'm, I'm sorry I nose. apologize well, well I we've been here for an hour and a half today. I'm I'm oh. a little I'm I'm stuck hmm. why, does it, why does this smell like fried fish because <laughs> <laughs> you know how we do it catfish out <laughs> we we had a little catfish over by the fuck by the river when y'all wasn't around oh. <laughs> <laughs> fish fry <laughs> yeah we go. <laughs> Me and Sam, we would have a little bit. That is Isn't crawfish. No we, yeah, we was doing it over there. You know, we, that's what we do. We do it on the side. We have a good time. There's like 30 hobbits. Yeah, out yeah we out there having a good time. A little bit of Michelob's out there. You know, we getting it. Hey. You don't tell Gollum about this? Yeah. I would love to hey, invite yeah. him. Oh, my God. Hey, man. It oh. is what it is. You know? He makes me catch He's the not a hobbit. Yeah, but I'm not a bad He's not a hobbit, right. playboy. Yeah. You know what I mean? I just yeah, well, you you turn on, you know. So. Holy shit! But oh when my he, god! He warns Boromir about Boromir, how what the ring did to him, and then <laughs> then Faramir lets them go. Yeah, and moment. and you know um, that. So in the book, Faramir is kind of like casual about refusing the ring, and Peter Jackson's like, "Man, I kind of want him to want it a little bit because it's yeah. this thing that everybody wants." So he made it. And, you know, some of the fans, you know, the Tolkien, you know, fans are really like, you know, adamant. It's like, that's not what Tol Tolkien wrote. But I agree with him having wanting it as well. And then coming to the realization that, you know what, you know, this killed my brother. Like, you know, yeah. I know my father really wants this ring. Um, there's a deleted scene where Faramir and his father, his father doesn't really like Faramir. He thinks he's useless. It's like. And is sending is his father Denethor is sending Boromir to join the Fellowship. Hey, they have the Ring of Power. Bring back me this kingly gift. Mm -hmm. um, so Denethor is kind of this this. this I hate Denethor. Denethor is an asshole. So oh. he's an asshole to Faramir. So Faramir is like, well, I want to please my father. I want I want him to like me, and so I'm I'm gonna bring bring this um, ring to him. So when he says a chance for Faramir to show his quality mm -hmm. is is a callback to that scene, that flashback okay. that they have of Boromir, Faramir, and Denethor. Copy. Got cut ultimately, but that's Faramir's motivation. Um, mm -hmm. But the fact that he, you know, dismisses him and realizes like, you know what, this ain't it. You know, my the, the this ring killed my brother. Like Sam says, you know what, you want to you know what happened to Boromir? Mm -hmm. Drove your brother mad. Mm. So, oh, yeah. so he's like, you know, he's probably grieving for his brother, and he's like, well, shit, man, this maybe they're right. Mm. You know what I mean? This fellowship, this thing. All right, I believe in you. You know. You know what I was wondering? Like, it might have made a movie too long, but I wanted to see the the what's his name? Poison the king's son. Because the, the king's son just passed away. He just oh yeah, bed. right. Just like you don't know they really. You know he killed him, but yeah. you don't know what happened. And I was like, oh, they should have had like him put yeah. a little bit of, mm -hmm. like a little bit of maybe tap you, a little bit of cyanide or something in yeah. there, showing him. You know, something. You are you talking about Theoden's? Uh, Theoden, yeah. So Theoden. So there is a deleted scene where they find the. Um, this is uh, who plays Aomer. Um, he's in the boys. Gosh. What's his, What's the actor's name? Um, the Butcher? The Butcher. Oh, yeah, the guy uh, from Star um, Trek. Carl Urban? Yeah. Carl Urban. Thank you, Genji, Genji Skeleton. Carl Urban, there's a deleted scene. 
I highly recommend the extended version if you haven't seen it. It's also cut out in theaters by the time we release this. Please go watch in the theaters. It's fucking amazing that they're doing this. Um, there's a there's a scene where he's they're looking for the king's son. They find him dead after orcs kind of just you know plowed through them, killed them, whatever. He's still alive, so they bring him back. So that scene was all was all cut. Okay. So you just get you know. Arum, uh, um, Theodred riding on a horseback and they're bringing him back and he's like, you know, mm-hmm. not doing well. Um, so they cut all that stuff out. Um, but I want to wanted to say Bernard Hill added a line. Um, that line of no parent should have to bury their child. Mm. Oh, yeah. That line came from, he was in Glasgow, Scotland, and he, I don't know, he ran into a parent or something. He was in, in a conversation and they said that to him that, that they had lost you know, a child. Oh, no God, like parent. some fans lied to him so they could get something no, in the movie. No, Carlos. That's so what happened. <laughs> and a parent said no, bar- no parent should... No, they were the trying to said, impress no like parent should have to bury their child. They're like, oh, uh, to remember us, we had a death in the family, actually. Why don't you put it in the movie? Because they're like fans. Fuck you. <laughs> no. I... That's not what happened. <laughs> What they, happened they was... They were lying. What happened was... He People was lie so... to celebrities all the time. No. Someone told... Okay. No. Someone told me they trained Osama bin Laden in the San Antonio Air Force Base. What? Yeah, what? Backstage at a comedy show. I was like, this is insane what people say. Hey, that could be true. The, the third <laughs> thing they tell me? No. No, 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 no. no. Um, but that line made it into I the, final, to believe it. the final film. Because he wanted to add that line said, from that encounter. I was like, oh, that was a really memorable moment. Um, and he added... That and Peter Jackson, like, yeah, cool. shit. yeah. So that's a that's a real. Don't don't do it, Doc. No, I'm not gonna fart. But let me tell you this. <laughs> I, think, I thought that was you. Now I see the, I see the connection. Interstellar stole that from fucking Lord of the Rings. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what did what they steal? Remember when she tells Matthew Conaghy at the end, "Don't leave," because. No one should see they. No one should see their. No parents should see their kid. Oh, yeah, they stole it. They, they stole it from they Lord stole it. of the Goddamn Ring. Honestly, it's kind of like a almost a turn of phrase. I've heard it a lot over. <laughs> yeah, so really, uh, they're not that original either. Films and that. It's not like his original ad lib or improv. God. Like that's a phrase that like people say in general that no parent should have to bury their child. Yeah, but where is the ruining my fucking? Con- Connection, bro. I was deep right there. And yeah, you just to fucking master? Just... Uh, it's pretty surface level stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. <laughs> I'll take that, but fucking. Y'all see the connection, though, right? Okay. Huh? Okay. Yep. Yes, master. Yes. <laughs> what you don't realize about Theoden, too, is that he, he's lost his son. He's kind of moved on because, like, holy shit. All this, the 10,000 yeah. uh, Urukai are going to come and wipe us out. So he has to kind of snap in and go, I got all these lives to save. He can't even really grieve for his son, but you can tell he has a death wish. Mm. Mm-hmm. You could tell that he doesn't give, Interesting. he doesn't give a fuck. And you'll see that in the return of the king. He's literally ah, screaming the, out. The death. oil scene. That's disgusting. Oh yeah. The what scene? The oil scene. Yeah, I just haven't seen it yet. You guys, you guys got to watch it. But Theoden, I want to see this oil scene. Well, oil scene is the is the um, is Denneth. Don't get in the ideas, yeah, gay one. I, mean, I was I was right there as soon as he said it. I said, gay what? one. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, I, I, Frodo, you're his master. You can shut down this insane talk. Let it fly. Fuck it. He, he lashing out on you. That's what I'm talking about. Let it fly, Playboy. <laughs> Okay, right. I'm the gay one. You good? I'm gay one. Yeah. You good? <laughs> so Theo God damn it. <laughs> fuck I fucking I know. You gotta fart? I'm not gonna fart. Why you sit up then? Because it smells like shit in here. I'm not gonna <laughs> fart again. I'm not gonna well, you sat up. It. Well you sat up like you was No, I'm not just there. okay, well. Just getting, I'm getting we watching you. Aragorn's boy. getting getting bothered here. My locks are all fucked up. You look like Trump's press secretary, the first one. <laughs> oh hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron and Huckleby. Huckleby, is that her last name? I, Huckleby, I think. No, <laughs> that was the guy. I think. The... Sarah Huckleby? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but he's Aaron. What the fuck is your name? Theremin? What? Aragorn. Aragorn, my bad. Please. The fucking king of Gondor. Get it right, uh, man. Damn. So, okay. So, is Gondor a cool place? What kind of, what's it like? In so, America? Gondor, so you'll get this in, in Return of the King. You get, you actually get to Gondor. 
Okay. You actually see so like the California of Middle Earth. What's it like? It's it's like the New York City. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Um, so it's it's like the biggest like um, population of 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 Homeless humans yeah. in Middle Earth. Um, <laughs> you got you got Denethor, who's there, who's the steward of Gondor. He's not the real king. It's Aragorn's the re- real king. That's Return of the King. Is yeah. him, you know, getting to Gondor. Denethor is like, oh no, fuck no, this guy's not coming coming in here and taking my place. Yeah. You know, so there's that Any insurrection. Yeah. So the oil scene. Yeah. Please. Yeah. You'll get you'll you'll see it's with Denethor, Faramir, and it's yeah, that's a yeah. good it's a good scene. So um you get to see the evolution of Theoden. You have nice at, feet, Gollum. Wait. He does have Dur- nice feet. Dur- <laughs> yeah. I wonder what your wiki feet would be. Yeah, this your feet are very nice. <laughs> Thank you. Never heard that one before. Yeah, Frodo, you could compliment your slave from time to time. Is that what Gollum needs? Just some compliments? I mean, he looks like shit, but his feet look great. But no, his whole motivation is to get the ring. So it's like, we can't push it too far. Because then he'll just be like, oh, and by the way, why don't you bring that ring over here? And we'll be like, oh, yeah, here, of course. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we have to keep him at bay. I mean, yes, I did do something to Master's Fingers in the third movie, but you were to see that. Oh, yeah. Did you something to his fingers? Yeah. Was... Oh, yeah, I'm fucking <laughs> up, playboy. Oh, I do stuff to his fingers all the time. Yeah. And I... <laughs> Y'all revealing secrets and shit. First, the New York City suburbs and not this shit. No, no, I mean, no, y'all can't no. do this, bro. Y'all just yeah. giving away everything. No, no, I just we're just saying, you guys are, uh, you know, Lord of the Rings virgins, basically. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, time to pop your chair to Return of the King. Yeah, we gotta get fucked by the king. Ah, yeah, I've seen the first one, so I'm gonna be a virgin. It's for the trilogy. Oh, for the trilogy. I know I said it in a really gross way, but you know what? After this, you guys gotta watch Return of the King because. All of for it our together next episode, for our next episode. Exactly. Oh, exactly. Okay. Gollum will tell you. Turn of the King. 11 Oscars tied with Titanic and Ben-Hur for most Oscars of all time. Mm-hmm. Wow. I mean, from Howard Shore that does the, you know, the music to Andy Serkis to the, the tech team, the visual effects, the costume, the makeup. This is they something. Give them everything. Everything because they, like I said, they put all that effort in mm-hmm. to doing it. Right, and they put all that effort in, and it's rewarded in the end. It's nice to see, and yeah. it, they didn't just take shortcuts. They're like, we're gonna, we're gonna give this everything we got. Yeah, and this is what happens when you have. If I made it, it would have been in Burbank, and it would have just been the actors in a giant green screen. They have them. green screen. I mean, but they do have like yeah. even some of the horse scenes. Yeah. They actually bring the horses, and they use like. Nope, they'd be fake. No, but they use two to. Th- and you would love the Lord of the Rings Amazon show them. Oh, oh that- God. Gollum, you have some real opinion. Oh, that. that's true. That's a fun. <laughs> I like it. They spent a billion dollars on it. Now, you know what? And talking about new new things that are coming out, it was just it was announced that uh, the hunt for Gollum, new movie, is going to be released, uh, directed by Andy Serkis. Oh, congratulations, Gollum. Yeah. Thank you. Is that your first like leading movie? It's always been my dream to be a leading habit on a film. Are you going to be a little different now? After? No. Of course we will. Yeah, he's going to be a little snooty now. Wait, maybe he doesn't need the ring because he'll have all that power and fame. No, he'll also want the ring at the end of the day, but he'll think mm-hmm. he's at like Frodo's level now. So he'll see, he'll be like, Fred will be like, I didn't invite you to this Vanity Fair party. And go and be like, oh, I got the invite like three weeks ago. It's going to be a little weird. I want to see how their dynamic oh, changes. You must have lost your invite in the mail. Hey, where are you getting mail, Gollum? <laughs> you live like Al Qaeda. That's, That's true. true. That's that, is true. That, is, that is true. That is true. Um, so for people, listen, guys, for people that haven't seen this movie, you guys are the first, you know, saw it for the first time. Why should they're, someone watch for the first time if they're they're like, hey, this is not my thing? If they have fantasy. a podcast, they should watch it, like a movie podcast. You, you're no. trying, you're trying real hard. <laughs> I think this movie is amazing. I really did. Like, okay, the last episode we did about this when Gandalf was here, like that was so like that whole like forty eight hours of Lord of the Rings really helped me appreciate Two Towers. Um, hearing the perspective from that episode, I think it's basically perfect movie making. Um, 
Did you like it? Did you like this one better than Fellowship? I liked Fellowship more. Okay, okay. I liked Fellowship more for sure. I'm really excited about the third one. I loved this one. I really did. I just thought, I liked that there was more Gandalf in the other one, in the first one. Yeah, Gandalf the Grey. Well, the first one is in the, dark, is the introduction to all the characters, so it's always going to be. Yeah, so I just like that. I like Gandalf a lot. I, he's Gandalf, probably my yeah. favorite character because yeah. I like his wisdom and yeah. how he's just like cool. Like, he's like I just murder. think he's someone everyone should yeah. look up to. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I think he's the coolest in all the movies, for sure. Yeah, and uh, yeah, he he changes a little bit when he's getting off the white. You know, getting off the grays, it, they're, 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 he's gone through a transition. What's the like, a biggest difference, like, in attitude? But he's more powerful as getting off the white. He's like, he said, I've, you know, lived. Interesting, he gets like, more powerful. Every, he said, he gets. yeah, well, when he died, he said, I've lived. <laughs> What did you say? What did you just say? You heard him. What did you just say? You heard him. Say it again. I think he gets more powerful the less dark he gets. He said the less black <laughs> to be. No, I'm saying Peter Jackson and Tolkien are saying weird shit. Yeah, that's true. But you see how like there was a slight inclination in his no, happiness no, no, when, no, he no, said, no. when he started talking about how he. Yeah, but there was something in my his voice. Whiteness, you know, I, I did. Yeah, he was like, you know, he fucking I'm like, yeah, easy. yeah, like easy over there. Yeah, yeah. he was re- yeah. really excited to say that. Yeah. It's just, <laughs> yeah, it's very KKK adjacent. His outfit. <laughs> Yeah, it's getting uncomfortable. We go. Well, <laughs> there are. Well, I guess he does hang out with a lot of white. Yeah, yeah. Ain't nobody else there. There would be. That is true. Yeah. All right, Carlos. Uh, yeah. Enough of this analogy. <laughs> <laughs> Doc, Doc, why why should people watch uh, Two Towers or Lord uh, of the Rings in general for the first time if they're they haven't seen it? If you haven't seen the first one, you need to see the first one exactly. First. But if you've seen the first one and if you haven't seen the second one, it concludes from where it left off because the first one ends with them on their way to the eye of uh Sauron, the yep. tower and uh i was I'm, i was intrigued by that so i was like you know what let me go on ahead and jump into this and it really it really carries the whole story and did you like the second one better it was did you, but you no, oh, like you like better the i like the first one the first yeah, one better. i like the first one um, but the second one is worth worth saying oh you know what i need to see the third one Exactly. That's it's why like you, you got to complete. The yeah, trilogy. I can understand why people saw the trilogy after the second. One. I was like, "Oh, this was that good." Because I'm gonna be honest with you, when I I'm I have a pet peeve. After about two hours and ten minutes, you lucky if I'm coming back to the goddamn theater. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen <laughs> most sequels because of that. Bad Boy Two ruined it for me. I said, oh, fuck it every fu- it was so fucking long. I said, Man, it's just so like that's one of the movies. So I never seen like X. Or Ali, or the or the sequels to Lord of the Rings, and so on and so forth. Every time, just like when we were talking about Oppenheimer, and I was like, three hours, man, fuck that, bro. Yeah. Man, you had me in that motherfucker, man, and you kidnapped my goddamn blotter and have me fucking pee pee hostage now, nah, bro. <laughs> we're not. I'm not, man. <laughs> fuck, bro. They, they gotta have like an intermission in between. Yeah. Oh, you know how many know, times I've gotten up and missed shit. Because I'm just sitting in there like, oh, fuck, I felt a little squirt. I got to go. <laughs> you get that little bit of wetness, you're like, man, I got to go. It's yeah, man, and I you miss that. a good five, ten minutes of the movie. It's yeah. like, fuck, bro, you can't have me like that, bro. So, so the fact that Hollywood cowards. do better. Y'all yeah. need an intermission or shorten your goddamn movies. All right. So the fact that Two Towers, you were able to finish it as an achievement. Yeah, yeah. I was at home. I was pausing that shit. I took a PP break. I fucking got up and said, yeah, I ain't gonna be up in this bitch peeing on myself. Can't be three. He needs to pee. <laughs> Gollum, why should people either rewatch or watch for the first time uh, Lord of the Rings in general or, or Two Towers and revisit this movie? I think that this movie in particular has some of the best balance of storytelling and all of the creatures in Middle-earth colliding in one place. Mm. From the Ents to the uruk to the Goblins to uh, just... Basically, you're seeing all battle, story, creatures, friendship, action, all in one movie. It's a, I would say it's the best representation where the first movie is more labored on the development because it's the introduction to everything and the last movie is more based on concluding everything. So I think that The Two Towers is one of the most enjoyable out of the, out of the trilogy because it's the best of everything. And they have those different stories instead of fellowship, it's 
Now we have Frodo and Sam, mm-hmm. right? We have Aragorn, Gimli, and and Legolas. We have mm-hmm. we have these different stories happening at once, and the cutting in between is pretty cool to see. It's like, oh, it's it's put together really well. Very well. Yeah. And then Merry and Pippin with the Ents. So we're we're cycling through all these stories. Yeah. And it's tied together very well. Very, very well. Well, uh, hey, uh, Gollum, thank you for keeping your cool. Um, I thought you would have killed Frodo by now, but uh, I, I really, got along. It would have been well. a hate crime, though. Honestly, I think that's what he was thinking about. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> so you know what? Yeah, well, yeah, extra protection uh, uh, for being yeah. black, Doc. Thank you. Thank you. Um, um, thank you guys for for watching. And uh, yeah, man, um, this was a wild one. Uh, Gollum's got some uh, some podcasts. A lot of things that he does. Colin, what are you working on? There's a couple of podcasts I guess I, I, I could say that I watch and I enjoy. Mm-hmm. Stand Up on the Spot, great podcast or YouTube series every other Monday on YouTube, youtube.com slash OutstandingRTS. And then Trailer Tales with Chelsea Lynn and Libby Higgins. That's every Friday. Uh, Aragorn's a huge fan of that. Big mm-hmm. fan of that Big one. Big fan of that one. And then Smeagol is also on tour all the time. So go see him at jeremiahwatkins.com. And that's about it. Jeremiah's stand up on social media. You got to go see Doc Willis live, too. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I just had to cough. <laughs> I was trying to hold it in. All right, bye, everyone. Love you. Love you, Rob. Take care. Man, what, is your, what is going on with you? You son of a bitch. What? Too much. Oh, I, oh no. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>